Now here's a, a room full of uh, gladiators. Um, a, a, again, a mountaintop experience for me to get to train with these guys. I got to train with Bill Wallace for about three years. Al Holcomb for about seven or eight at this time. And we're getting ready to test Bill Wallace. He's getting promoted from third degree to a fourth degree black belt. As you can see, Elvis is doing the talking. He's the head black belt in this class. Elvis wanted to promote the TCB system, uh, the faith, spirit, and discipline of it, uh, as a way of taking care of business and doing it in a, uh, an honorable, fashionable way. Mr. Wallace just got promoted. You can see Mr. Presley is very proud of him. And that right there is literally the best martial artist in the world. Undefeated in uh, point karate as well as professional kickboxing karate. He started the professional kickboxing. Uh, Elvis didn't want him to do it, but he did it against Elvis's wishes. And I think Elvis would have ended up being real proud of him. And uh, the Memphis Press Cemeter, as well as long as the Commercial Appeal, both did articles on this event in the newspaper the following day. And in the uh, press seminar off it, uh, uh, it was talking about Elvis's who dish it out can show he can take it as well. And the commercial appeal was talking about the Elvis plans, the karate documentary. So this was some big news for Memphis. Now here's Bill Wallace again, and he's stretching out, and this is the uniform I was describing earlier. Elvis bought the whole team this uniform right here. He had it rushed uh, from Toccata, uh, one of the best uniforms you could buy, and Elvis wanted something special for our team. Mr. Wallace was uh, surprisingly real smart. He worked on his master's degree in Memphis at uh, the university there. Now you'll see Elvis wearing uh, his boots in the, uh, the dojo. We call our training hall a dojo. Uh, training hall and uh, a lot of people say well, why did Elvis wear his boots in there and I said well because he was Elvis but most people they would uh, go barefooted back then and today it's opened up even more where people either wear tennis shoes or go barefooted a lot of people say well why would Elvis wear sunglasses in there and I said because he was Elvis but he was an incredible person um and just a mountaintop experience for me. This was an historical event that I knew I was lucky to be a part of. There he is going back to the eyes again. 
Elvis loved those techniques to the